Pay close attention. You who are desperate because you are living condition is totally contrary to what you would like it to be. You are sad, frustrated, and anxious. You keep complaining about what has happened to you and ask yourself, why is my life like this? Why is my marriage like this? My relationship, my financial life, spiritual, emotional, life, my health, why am I like this? And you get very frustrated by this situation. Pay close attention because I will reveal it to you with 99.9% accuracy. And the 0.01 are the exceptions that can always exist, which are the exceptions on the rule. But 99.9% accuracy why you are like this. And the reason is your choices. You made choices in your life that one after the other took you to where you are. You made choices like that. So these choices had consequences and now you are reaping. And that's why the frustration, this desperation, this sensation that your life will never get in order. Why? Because you didn't make the right choices in the past. So maybe you are very frustrated with your partner, in your relationship. And you ask yourself, why is he like that? Why does he do those things? Why don't we get along? We are very frustrated with each other. And you ask yourself, why can I not be happy in love? But if you go back in time, maybe, I'm not saying that that is your case, perhaps that was your case, that you met each other and everything was wonderful on the first days, first weeks, so wonderful, but so wonderful, you were getting along so well at the start of all that in the first two months you went to live together because you fought like this. We like each other, this is so good, it's going so well. Why should we be spending money with rent, bus fares? That's it, you made a choice. You both have jumped many steps in a relationship. You both have met each other's family. You don't know the history of the person. And you went to bed with him or with her. I'm sorry. But our choices that people are making, and when they wake up next to that person six months after, one year after, and everything is upside down, they ask themselves, why am I so unhappy in love? Well, you are unhappy because you made those choices. And you jumped, and you hoped for someone to hold you when you jumped off the cliff. And when you arrived down there and you said, nobody, help me. Yes. There was no guarantees made by you that there was somebody down there to hold you. Or maybe you are a Christian woman who was single for long and you met a young man at your workplace, at the university, a Christian wannabe, with all the qualities of a Christian, but Jesus, almost like one. And you said, but he's so nice. We talk so well, we understand each other. It is a simple detail that he does not have Jesus, but he respects my faith, he respects. So I will take the risk, I will try. You went against the word of God that says, the light does not mix with darkness. 
que você começou And you started um a relationship, comigo. maybe you got married Agora with him, now you cry almost every day because he does not want the same as you want. He does not connect to the same things as you do. He has different objectives and this starts to weigh the relationship down and you become very frustrated and you become very frustrated and you say, I dreamt on a marriage and look what I've become but wasn't that your choice? I'm not saying that to open a wound I want to wake you up to the reason why you are here and how useless and vain and unproductive it is for you to keep complaining about what you have brought to yourself. Maybe you are there in that your financial life is all tied up and you ask yourself, why can I never have some savings? Why can I never fix my finances? Why is that? Maybe you are a impulsive person. When it comes to your head, you want to do something, you want to travel, you want to buy a gift, you want to throw a party, you want to buy that dress that is on sale and the sale is only up until Saturday and you think if you don't buy that dress on Sunday you will be the most unhappy person in the world. You spent what you couldn't with the little money you had or maybe you use the credit card to pay installments. Now, you pay more fees, interest, than what you actually took as a loan from the credit card company. So, dear friends, we must look within and learn from our mistakes. This reminds me of Cain's Situation. The Bible says, you know the story of the young king who presented an unacceptable offering to God. He was rejected and he felt terrible about it. His brother was accepted and he was disapproved. His countenance fallen. He blamed the brother, look at that, because he did a better offering than his and made his reputation bad before God. But it was not the brother who did something wrong. It was him who made an unacceptable any type of offering, a rotten one. He made a bad choice and he ripped. But God didn't humiliate him. God simply came to him and said, you can read in Genesis 4, from verse 5, it says, but he did not respect Cain and his offering, and Cain was very angry, and his countenance fell, just like many have their countenance fallen, and the anger in their face. So the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry, and why has your countenance fallen? In other words, this anger and this long face will not take you somewhere. So this long face would take you nowhere. So God gave him a tip, saying, If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door, and its desire is for you, but you should rule over it. So God gave a tip to Cain. If you do well, Next time, it will go right. So since you can't go back, but from now on, do the right thing, and you will go well. So you who are complaining about your life currently, and complaining only about the consequences of the choices you made back then, instead of complaining with your countenance fallen, this anger, this murmuring, instead of doing that, what is God's counsel for you? He's saying, let's do the following. 
Faça as escolhas certas. Na Make the vida. right choices next time. Faz o que é do certo. what is right. Você sabe you know que é certo. what is você right. Sabe o que você tem que fazer. You know Pare what you should do. Coração. Stop listening Pare to your heart, impulsos. your impulses. Pare de ouvir Stop listening a, os to the influences Pare of the ouvir. internet. Stop sabe, listening to the voices of this world and listen to God's word, God's advice. Don't listen to your heart. Listen to God's advice, the word of God that doesn't change, that you cannot go wrong. If you do that and act upon this right choice, you will go well. And you start getting your life right. Oh, I made a mistake back then, so my marriage is over. So now I can only cry and suffer for the rest of my life because of bad choices I've made. No, it's the opposite of what I'm saying. It is the opposite of what you're thinking. You are reaping what you sow back then. But if you sow new seeds, if you make better choices from now on, in due time, so you won't reap tomorrow, but you start soon to reap good fruits from the good seeds you started to plant today. So pay attention to what you've been doing, the actions you've been taking that are not working. Give up on them. Stop doing them. Stop lamenting for what is gone and say, from now on, I will do right, I will do well. Ask God for direction. He will guide you. And then you will see that very soon you won't be murmuring but laughing and happy because you changed your actions, your seeds and also the fruits have changed. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.